Here is the 0-1 from Van. Swung on slow, roller towards short. Munden charging, has to make a good play to throw over. In time, what a scoop by McBroom. That's a good play on both ends there by WVU. Munden charging, McBroom a Hoover at first. There's one away. Vance gets his sign from O'Brien. Here's the 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss. How about that pitch that tailed away? Here's the 0-1 from Stiles, swung on. That ball's trail, deep left center field. Going back, going back, it hits the base of the wall. McBroom will round third, he will score easily. And there is the throw home, not in time. Now a snap throw to second. Johnson back in there with the head first slide. There it is again from Brad Johnson. You think it's your best chance. The 3-2, there it is again, strike three call. He brought the slider again, you called it Ernie. Hit for WVU, squaring the button on the third baseline. Good butt, Constantini bare hands throws. In time, what wow. a play by Michael Constantini at third. Brad Johnson at the plate. Styles is 2-1, ground ball up the middle, past the diving shortstop into center field. McBroom will score. Rice Motors around third, he will score, and Brad Johnson does it again. The 0-2 chopped right out in front of the plate, and it will be fair. O'Brien, oh, what a play by O'Brien and McBroom. That was a swinging bunt that just stuck in the grass. The 3-1 pitch, that ball is drilled down the right field line. Boyd turns on that one, going back, going back, it is gone! Bobby Boyd turns on a Taylor Styles 3-1 offering and absolutely jacks that out of Holly Field. A three-run blast by Boyd. His first of the season in West Virginia has broke this one open, now six to nothing here in the fifth. How about that swing from Bobby Boyd and back to what we were talking about and how he's matured as a hitter. Checks plumbing that second. Here's the three, two. That ball is hit hard. Past the diving third baseman into left field. Randy Mazie waving Billy Fleming home. The throw is cut off. And Jacob Rice continues his hot streak. The reigning co-Big 12 player of the week with a one-out RBI single scoring Billy Fleming. And West Virginia now leads seven to nothing. The 0-1 pitch, that line in the center field for a base hit by Cam O'Brien. Down the line to score is Jacob Rice. And O'Brien with a two-out RBI single and West Virginia continues here in the fifth. They lead eight to nothing. Here is a 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Vance again pulls the string. 3-2 pitch, that ball's laced down the left field line, fair for extra bases into the corner. Constantini will trot home and Taylor Munden another double here on Tuesday night, his second of the evening, and he continues to rip off doubles for WVU. It's now 9-1 Mountaineers. But tie a career high. First pitch, that's drilled into right field. Going back, going back over the head of Montville and right, and two hops the wall. Munden will round third, he will score. Boyd is in there at third base, and Bobby Boyd continues his torrid pace offensively with an RBI triple to right that scores Taylor Munden, and West Virginia leads Maryland now by the score of 10-1. to Cassis first pitch to Rice, hit the air to right field. Mountville goes back, could be deep enough, should be. Boyd will tag, and he will come in and slide in safely. Here's second baseman Brandon Lau. First pitch, shot towards the pitcher's mound, Paul to home, O'Brien to first, in time, double play, there you go. Cam O'Brien rips this into right center field. That will plug the gap and roll all the way to the wall. Kramer rounding third. He will score no problem. And Cam O'Brien once again, goodness gracious, another hit, another RBI for the WVU backstop. It's now 12 to one Mountaineers. O'Brien away from second, the 1-0 chopping ground ball. Racino can't handle it. It's fair off of his club down the left field line. O'Brien will head into home plate, he will score. And heading to second is Michael Constantini as Racino, the third baseman. The one-two pitch to Fleming, that's laced in the center field. White comes on, he can't make the catch. Down the line to score is Constantini. Sembler will advance to third. There's an RBI single by Billy Fleming, his second hit of the night. And the onslaught continues here in the seventh. West Virginia leads Maryland by the score of 14 to one. You know they'll be ready to play. There go the runners, three, two. And that's foul tipped into the glove of O'Brien and a strikeout. So Pascal Paul able to work out of that inning.
Here is the one-two pitch. Big swing, no contact. And a strikeout there for Joby Lapkowitz. And there's one away here in the ninth. 0-2. He did go through. Yes, he did. So Leal is a strikeout victim. And Lapkowitz has bounced back. The strikeouts of Keith and Leal. And there's two away. It's best suited for him to help this team win games and also stay healthy. 2-2 pitch line towards first. And Ryan McCrew makes a nice defensive play. And Q Country Roads. On that note, it was a dominating effort tonight by the West Virginia Mountaineers routing Maryland, a good Maryland team here at Holly Field, by the final of 14-2.